Okay, so there we have it. We've just finished the final power run of 435.2 kilowatts after the installation of the Herod Stealth in a cooler kit. We started with 382 kilowatts at the wheels with this particular vehicle. This particular vehicle has already had a catback exhaust, it was already tuned, um, and we installed a K&N high flow air filter. So 385 is about the norm um, to, to achieve out of these ve vehicles. After the installation of the Herod intercooler kit and the pulley kit, we've gone from 382 kilowatts at the wheels to 435. The 382 kilowatts at the wheels was prior to the intercooler, it was tuned, um, standard injectors, tuned right up with a catback exhaust and that's the power it made. Just the installation of an intercooler, we were able to get a bit more aggressive on the ignition timing. We've achieved 435.2 kilowatts, so this car should feel really, really good to drive. This car now will probably go out there and run a 10 second pass. Okay, so there we have it, the installation of the Herod Stealth uh, uh, water to air intercooler kit. As you can see under the bonnet, it still looks nice and stealth. The, water, the heat exchanger is situated under, under the plenum, plenum lid here. And of course, up the front through here, we've got the radiator core, which actually cools the water before it, hit, it enters the um, heat exchanger. With, with, as a part of this package as well, we've also installed the pulley kit. You get the, uh, the supercharger pulley and you get a uh, crankshaft pulley as well, which allows us to run 12 to 13 psi boost pressure. So if you're the owner of a GT or a GS with a Coyote engine, come in and see us for the Herod Stealth Intercooler Kit. Just remembering this car started initially with 320 kilowatts in standard form at the rear wheels and ended up with 435 as a finished product. The GS will achieve the exact same amount of power as they both have the same engine, drivetrain, everything. It's just software uh, configuration that allows the car to be detuned a bit more. So overall, whether it's a GS or GT, they'll both achieve the same power level. Look us up on www.autotechengineering.com.au and come in and check out the uh, Herod Intercooled system.